right, how you guys doing today? Appreciate you for having us. I'm going to introduce our, our guys real quick. On the far end is uh, Brian Cliffin, running back linebacker. Next to him is Reese Wainwright, uh, inside linebacker. Trente Jenkins, uh, kind of do it all this year. He's going to be playing a lot of nose, three technique, some, some hammer. Uh, Jeremiah McKenzie, kind of a do it all athlete as well, outside linebacker, safety, quarterback. Uh, running back, anything we need. And then um, on the end is Jacob Ferguson, big offensive tackle. So um, appreciate appreciate you guys having us. Um, look forward to this every year. It's kind of the kickoff to the season. And uh, so we're ready to go. Yeah, Clay, we were hoping we were going to keep it a secret. But uh, since you let it out, I'm just kidding. We, uh, you know, there, there's a standard that our defense wants to play with. And uh, these guys want to keep it going. And sure, we did lose a lot of talent. We lost some some college football players to the next level. But in our program, it's next man up. And these guys are very eager to um, to show what they can do. And they got a ton of reps in last year. We were fortunate to be able to play a lot of kids with a lot of experience last year. Now it's their turn uh, to be the ones. But we also returned five starters off those, those the defense from last year. So, um, you know, we don't, we don't, we don't think there's going to be a very big drop off. Coach, as a two-way school, you guys have a massive schedule. Uh-huh. Obviously not afraid to play the big boys up front. What is the key to putting that in their brains at, hey, you know what, 2A, 5A, 6A, it's just football? Yeah, they love they love the competition. Uh, one thing about our kids in Bradford, they like, to, they like to run into each other, and then they like to run into other people too. So, um, you know, once, once you once you enjoy that, it doesn't really matter. There's only 11 on the field at one time, and our kids love the competition, and um, they want to play the best. They understand what it takes, um, you know, playing in the last game of the season last year. Um, you play a lot of really good people. So in order to be prepared for that moment, you got to play the good guys. Also, Coach, can you just talk about what it's going to take to get back to the big dance, and, and do y'all got enough to realistically make it back to the big dance? Sure. I mean, I, th- I think so. You know, we go into every year um, with the same goals in mind, and it's about – it really is about what you do in the off season. Um, you get ready to play in December, uh, June and July and August, and then it's really Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays of every week and how hard you work and how hard you prepare, and our guys understand that. And they uh, they take that in. They want to be a part of that, and it's uh, it's been a fun run. All right. Thank you, Brad, for yes, sir. 